Hey, good morning. So, today I want to talk about content, specifically creating content. I think for the past year since COVID started, a lot more people have been taking to you know, content creation as a sort of side gig and a lot of people are doing it full time as well, which is great. And I didn't really fully realize this until recently when I went out and I've seen a lot more people filming themselves in their day-to-day -day lives. And that really had me thinking because I've only streamed on Twitch for about like a year and a half. And only recently I've been spending more time, you know, uploading TikToks, making YouTube shorts, etc., etc. But one thing I've realized is that a lot of people um, put on this sort, I wouldn't say put on this facade, but they really do curate the whole content to fit the algorithm and, and to really capture our attention, which I think is sort of required because one, let's say two pieces of content could be the exact same, but one really hooks you at the beginning and the other one is just a, hey, what's up? And they share the information, which, you know, credit goes to where credit's due, but in a world where we have so much content and it's all so easily accessible, we literally scroll on TikTok and we get a new piece of whatever. We get a new piece of whatever, right? It's that we really do have to hook our audience's attention immediately. And for me, a lot of my content feels like my the way I deliver my message or whatever I do is based on my emotion. So if I'm feeling sappy that day, I'm not going to come on camera and be like, hey guys, what's up? Let me teach you something, yada, yada, yada. I am not going to be that happy to do so. But I find a lot of content to have all this high energy where, let's be, let's truth be told, you meet them in person, it's not going to be like that. Um, but I don't want to fault them. It's just what I've noticed and it's, it's not necessarily bad, but it's not what I want to do, right? I don't want to put on a different face, a different emotion from what I'm feeling when creating what I'm Great. But what I'm saying is that for me, when I make content, I have a few goals and that is either I want to teach a lesson, um, share an experience or, you know, make, make something funny. But I don't want to come in front of the camera and portray a different feeling than what I'm feeling at the time. Just, to, just in order to, you know, hook you in. It's not what I do and I find it incredibly difficult because when it comes to the algorithm, Unless you hook people in at the very start, the algorithm isn't going to continue to push out whatever you post. And it's hard because if you want to, let's say, share an experience and you spend X amount of hours, all this effort and time put into it, you post it, but you don't have like the strongest hook, you're not getting anywhere. And I think that's one of the toughest things that I have to come to terms with with content is that I really do sometimes have to put more effort into getting attention at the very beginning. At least that's what I feel. The second thing is that with all the numbers that we're given, with the analytics, with our views feed, you know, the like to dislike ratio, this is instant feedback for what people think about you and your content. And I find it incredibly difficult to disassociate from what you make versus you, especially if you've put so much time and effort into it. It's basically a, a, a part of you at that point. And if people don't like a part of you, chances are they don't like the whole you. As is the sort of mindset I have. And right or wrong, I, I don't think it's the healthiest to be adopting, but I definitely do think that I can't be the only one. Probably everyone else that makes content with the goal of growing um, probably feels that way when something that they put out there doesn't do as well as they want it to. But that's just me. 